Hey Shug, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Saggy's reading for the second half of March. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Saggy's. Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. I do advise that you check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will. In fact, you should do that anyway to get a more complete picture. All right, Sag, let's see what's coming in for you. Second half of March. I am using a different deck. Okay, then I normally would, and I'm doing a different spread, okay? But I'm going to talk you through it. It's still six cards, and it's still kind of hitting on the same step. I'm using my Untold Truths deck for the spread, okay? All right. Just wanted to switch it up. Okay. Let's see what we have in the second half of March for my Saggies. All right. Overall energy. Resentment. This is the same energy as um, Leo. So it could be done for Leo or have Leo on your chart. Okay. Yeah. It says stinging words, bitterness, anger. Okay. Yeah. With unspoken right behind that. Regrets, lost words, disappointment. Okay. So someone could have some regrets yet yeah, around maybe running or the words that they spoke. Okay. Yeah. Or the anger between you and another. All right. What's the energy of the situation in the second half of March? Drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching. Okay? So you and some, well, someone else can be slowly parting or disconnecting. Okay? There's some anger in between you. Your energy or how you're feeling. Emotional whirlwind. Affected, dramatic, unstable. You don't know how to feel. You're all over the place. Okay? Like your emotions are up and down and all over the place. Okay, yeah, because maybe something's been unspoken, like a conversation needs to be had. How is someone else feeling? Chemistry, spark, passion, desire. Okay, we're going to clarify the messages, All right? What is the challenge or the obstacle? Concealing, secrets, mysteries, hiding, okay? So there's something that's being concealed that needs to be probably talked about, spoken. The advice, death, complexity, awareness, importance. Okay. And the most likely outcome, farewells, goodbyes, finality, closure. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's clarify these messages for you, Sagey. Let's see what's really going on with you. The second half of March. My series. Okay. So the overall energy is resentment. Okay. Stinging words, bitterness, anger. Why is resentment here for my Saggies in the second half of March? Please make it clear, Spirit, as the overall energy. Okay, three of pentacles. Okay, with your energy on the bottom, king of wands. Yeah. Okay, well, this is someone that is seeing things from a new perspective. Okay, there could have been arguments. There could have been some stinging words. There could have been some anger between you and another. Okay, but this is someone that is seeing things from a new perspective and wanted to come to some type of uh, mutual understanding. Okay, um, wanting to compromise, wanting to work on things. Okay, why is resentment here? Or Sag. Okay. With justice being here, Libra energy. Okay. Yeah. Someone wants some type of success here. Okay. Um, they want to bring, do what's right. Okay. With the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles um, resisting or blocking or pushing uh, this away, it's not moving anything. It's not helping anything. Okay. Nothing's moving with the Knight of Pentacles, right? Why is resentment right here? For Sage. Why is resentment here? For my Sadies. Overall energy. Ten of Wands, yeah. And a Nine of Pentacles. Okay. It's becoming too much. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands is like, you know. 
being burdened down. But with the Nine of Pentacles, this person sees you as being very stable, like being very like, like good all on your own. Okay, like you're good. This person might have a whole lot of responsibilities, burdens, um, things that's like really tying them down. And they're just seeing you like, oh, you're good. Okay, you're making things happen. you doing it. The energy between you and another is drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching. Why is this card here as the energy between Saggy and another? Hmm. Hmm. Well, with the five of swords on the bottom, this is definitely those, you know, stinging words. Okay. That anger. All right. Um, with the three of swords here, there's definitely heartbreak. Okay. Between you and another. Okay. Maybe because someone was juggling or going back and forth, with whether they wanted the connection or not, wanting to come together or not. Okay. Yeah. But someone's, you know, seeing it differently now, okay? They're seeing things differently. They want to maybe come to some type of compromise or whatever because with this hangman energy and this page of pinnacles, right, this is someone that's, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That wants to, you know, Make some type of offer here. Why is drifting here for Sage? Can I get one more for drifting? Why is drifting here for my Sages? Okay. The heartbreak could have been because someone was juggling and couldn't make up their mind or couldn't make a, you know, make a decision. Why is drifting here? Okay, yeah. Ten of Cups. Okay, and a Knight of Cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Ace of Pentacles. I didn't even see it. Okay. Yeah, so this this is definitely someone that is making an offer to like, you know, have a new beginning. Okay. To go towards the Ten of Cups to, um, to make some changes here. Yeah. Because, and they're coming in with love because they see like, you know, someone's walking away. Someone's choosing to like, release this okay you know so your energy sag is emotional whirlwind affected dramatic unstable okay why is emotional whirlwind here for sag in the second half of march please make it clear spirit two of cups and judgment in the world, in the chariot, in the fool, in the hierophant. You don't know how to feel. You don't know what, the, you like, what's going on? <laughs> you don't know how to feel. Okay, because with the two of cups here, your emotions are all over the place. Okay? There is definitely a second opportunity, okay, for this connection. Someone's making this decision. Okay, or someone is going through some type of emotional whirlwind where it's making them like, you know, make this decision. Okay, and with this world energy, this is about beginning a new cycle. Okay, this can be like going on a trip, traveling. Okay, but someone is definitely like interested in going into a commitment here. Okay, someone's interested in going into a commitment. And I feel like either someone was is in this emotional whirlwind where they're like, you know, oh, I have to make this happen or someone is experiencing that because they're totally caught off guard okay why is chemistry here as the energy of whoever saggy is connecting with why is chemistry here for whoever saggy is connecting with okay it says spark passion desire mm -hmm. yeah yeah someone's ready to tell the truth okay with the seven of swords here Someone wasn't being honest, okay? And with this four swords, all right, this is to heal a situation. They want the spark back, yeah, okay? Because there's chemistry, right? Someone is telling the truth, um, you know, with the devil energy and the uh, king of pentacles, this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, 
Yeah, it's like someone is, you know, no longer, I, I want to be completely transparent. And it could be around someone's emotions, okay? Yeah, they have clarity about that now. Okay, so we have three kings in a row, right? Missing one, okay? But they have, it's about action. Okay, the one about action. But they have clarity, okay? So with this chemistry card, someone is making an attempt to heal something, okay? Why is chemistry here for Sadie's person? Okay, they, they obviously did not share some emotions, okay? This can be an unhealthy pattern of theirs, okay? Yeah, with the Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands, this person wants to... Um, yeah, Four of Wands, is, they're making a decision for a commitment here, okay? This is someone that wants a commitment, okay? They're speaking the truth, all right? And it's, you know... They're being honest and they want to tell you what it is that they want. Okay. Yeah. Because with the Knight of Wands here and the Lovers and the Hierophant, someone is taking action now. It's like, I'm coming to speak my truth. I'm clear on what it is that I want. I want this connection. I want to heal it. Okay. There's a chemistry here. Right. The obstacle is that someone is concealing something, a secret, mystery, or hiding. Why is this the obstacle for Sag? Why is concealing the obstacle? Could be done from air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Why is concealing here? The tower. Okay, Scorpio energy. Okay, this is sudden change. Okay, um, this is sudden change. With the Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups, this is someone... Um, needing to say something needing to reveal how they feel what they want okay but the six of swords is moving on the common waters going from this troubling time so two people drifting apart okay um to a time of harmony and peace and new beginnings here with the ace of cups okay this is why unspoken was right there behind resentment along with running okay um because it's time for someone to Reveal how they feel, okay? Why is concealing here as the obstacle? Okay, yeah, with the Hierophant. There go that King of Wands, okay? This is the King of Action. I said we were missing the King of Action. Now we have, oh, I was about to say, we had all four kings in a row, I was about to say. Okay, but with the King of Pentacles here and the Knight of Swords, this is someone that is making that decision, okay? Taking action, okay, and making a decision, right? And releasing any type of fear. Okay, why is concealing here? Okay. But also being transparent, okay? Like, you know, being honest in what it is that they want. Yeah. Six of Cups, the Star, and a Nine of Wands. Yes. Determined to have what it is that I want. Okay. This is someone that is revealing, okay, that. They want a reconciliation. They want to come together here with the Three of Cups. Okay? Yep. Yeah. This is someone that might have been unsure, okay, about whether they wanted the long haul, Ten of Pentacles, okay? But with this Knight of Cups here and the Ace of Swords, they are clear now. Okay? That is clarity. That is a victory. That is, you know, an aha. Okay? So this is someone that wants to heal the past, okay? Because they are determined to um, make something happen, Okay? This is something, somebody that wants what they want, okay? Yeah. The advice is depth, okay? Complexity, awareness, importance, okay? Maybe like recognizing the importance, recognizing the depth of the connection. Why is depth here for my Saggies, okay? Yeah. This is a wounded warrior. Someone is definitely wounded. Okay. Emperor on the bottom could be dealing with Aries. Yeah. With the Emperor and the King of Cups and the Eight of Wands, is someone that is taking control of a situation, following their emotions, okay? Speaking how they feel, okay? Communicating how they feel. That's why the advice is the complexity, the awareness, and the depth, okay? Um, is to recognize that, okay? Because with this Ace of Wands, this is something that's 
a new spark, that chemistry, okay? A new spark. Someone who might not have been talking. Someone who might have ghosted. Someone who took time out to like really go deep, okay? To really go deep and figure themselves out with this high priestess energy here. Um, this is someone that has a lot of inner knowing and understanding of the depth of a situation. Yeah. Okay, I feel like they gain a lot of understanding from their intuition why while in solitude. Okay, and with this Knight of Wands energy, this is someone that's ready to move, ready to take action, ready to put um foot to the pavement, okay, ready to take control of a situation. Okay, yeah, and move something forward here. Okay, eight of wands and the three of cups. Okay, the most likely outcome is farewells. Okay, it says goodbyes, finality, closure. Okay, why? There it is. King of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Okay, someone making a choice. Okay, this is closure. Okay, someone making a choice to have a new beginning. They're following what it is that they want. The Nine of Cups is wishes being fulfilled. Okay, this King of Pentacles is responsible. He's a father figure. He's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. He's a... Um, Financially stable person, savvy with the finances. Why is farewell here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is someone that is not happy with maybe the decisions that they made in the past. King of Swords, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Maybe to reject you or push you away, vice versa. You apply how it fits. Okay. Yeah. Because this life might have left them out in the cold, Five of Pentacles. Um, with the Six of Swords, is someone that wants to move things to karma waters. Okay. Heal a connection with the temperance energy. Okay. Um, repair. Any type of deception, lying, cheating, energy, okay? Um, yeah, the Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands is someone that's making a choice, okay? That is choosing you, okay? Queen of Wands energy. Why is Farewells here? For my Saggies. Farewells, please, right? Please make it clear. Okay, you have the lover's energy, Gemini, Libra, I mean, Gemini um, card. Okay, yeah, with the lover's energy, this is making a decision about a connection. Okay, seven of cups and the eight of cups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like worried about a decision. Okay, so someone might have made a decision in the past. Okay, so this is bringing closure to a situation. Someone is definitely bringing harmony and peace back into a situation because this King of Pentacles is um, not happy with the decisions that they made in the past. Okay, maybe worried about coming together, being together, whatever the case may be. Someone walked away with the Eight of Cups and they're realizing, okay, that you know, some change needs to happen here. You know, um, they could be realizing that you are their destiny. Okay, and with this King of Wands energy, this person wants a victory. Okay, yeah. They're not happy with the decisions that they made in the past. Okay, and I do feel like this person is transforming. Um, because we saw all the kings coming together as if they are coming into the emperor energy. Yeah. Mm hmm Yep, they want to work on it. Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, this is working on a future long-term commitment together. Okay, putting in the work on something long-term. Ten of Pentacles, family, a future, Three of Wands. Envisioning the Ten of Pentacles. With you, Sage. Okay? All right. Let's get you some messages. Because you guys are obviously in separation. Okay? There is something that's been unspoken. Even if you're in the same house with the person, okay? You can be walking past them in the hallway. And don't say nothing, right? So, let's see. Any messages? 
for my Saggies, second half of March spirit. For my Saggies, second half of March. I know I failed you and let you down big time. Okay. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you as my complete whole self. Okay. I said it seems like this person is definitely doing some, you know, deep diving. Okay. On who they are. Deliver me from my temptation. Okay. Because they keep doing the same stuff. I was misguided. I was blinded and could not see straight. Okay. Yeah. They see now. All right. Bottom my deck says, I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can have a do-over. Yeah. That's what they want. They want to move on from this resentment. It's a lot that hasn't been spoken. A lot that has been concealed. And it's time that it comes out. So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.